happens to be a, uh, taken from a photo which is in a car. We have a seat belt that comes right across the front. So we're going to lay down that seat belt. You need a big brush for that. Fairly big. We're going to go into a neutral tint. Get a little of the blue gray from the background to mix with it. Seat belt will start over here. Now you can see if I press a little harder on the paper, the blue gray will come up from the bottom. We're going to paint around these beads. And down this way, get a little more color mixed in with that. Neutral tint is almost a black, but it's very much to the cool side, so I sometimes will mix it up. That paint's a little heavy for me, so I will go in. Roll it out. Just try not to drag it. It'll cause you more problems. There we go. Let's get some details in the face. I'm going to use a little bit of this burnt umber with a little bit of new gamboge to do my first layer on the iris. Now don't forget we can go in and we can pull out the other colors that are there so it's nothing to be concerned about. Here I see we have some very dark areas. I'm going to use some of that same color to come in and clear up what's going on with these shadows. The side of the face is dark. Under the chin, dark. a little more of the burnt umber into that mixture. I think we'll put a piece of tissue down here and lift just a little of this paint because it's a little too heavy for me. Okay, we've got a good base. Let's get a brow. Get some lids, nostrils, because this is taken kind of by me, for me, looking up at me. more of the burnt umber. We're going to mix it in with a little of that grayed down green color we have just to do some of these really dark areas that are going to be shadowed. It's better when you get the eyes in. It's almost like eating dessert first, which I like to do also, but it kind of gives you more of an idea of what you're doing, so I like that part. Okay, we're going to lift a little of this pink out. 
No, we're not. We're going to paint over it. It's dry. There we go. Now, you have to be careful not to put too much water on. Because if you do, it's going to lift everything. When you lift one thing, it will lift everything. Get rid of that dark mark. Because we want to keep the composition strong, I'm going to put in some of these background lines. Again, they're so dark that they can almost be, this, they'll be almost the same. I'm going to go back to my neutral tint, mix it with some of this magenta and bamboo green that I'm using. Come in here and put in some of these shapes. Don't worry if the brush strokes aren't even because we're going to come in and go over them anyway. Flatten them out. Let's take out some of the blue for the hair. I think it should be more yellow than blue. Let's lay some paper towels down on that and see how much we can pull out. Good. So we've got a nice pattern going on. Add some verditer blue so it comes out around the outside. Going with a little peach black. I'm going to come in with my bamboo green and go to the very outside of the paper. Fill in this one, background space. I'm going to come back and do the, here's where I'm a do as I say and not as I do artist. While you're doing your flesh tones, do all your flesh tones. Otherwise, you're going to have to come back like this and start them over. We'll do her shoulder. We're going to get into a little finer work with the beads. Lift that one, put it in greener. This is a kind of funny necklace that sticks up in the air if you're wondering why it's coming behind and over and under. The seatbelt, that's why. Got these big chunky green beads. places where they're too blue still, I'll go back and lift them out, add in more leaf green. This is permanent red. Put 
some of those beads in. This is an assortment of very old beads, so they're all kinds of glass and stone. I love this part, but let's get busy and get down to the hair. <laughs> 